I remember going back to the days when I was in the Royal Marines and we used to spend hours and hours and hours on a practice pad just constantly playing through our rudiments. I think we're all guilty th these days of just saying, I can play rudiments and move on. Uh, and we don't spend enough time on the core fundamentals for me. Um, most of the stuff that I play on the kit, the most of the way that I personally earn my living is a basic combination of, of singles and doubles. That's, that's what it takes to pay the bills. And you're only ever gonna be as strong as your weakest hand left always um, and doubles on my left hand which have always been an issue you know Al always spent a lot of time really trying to get my doubles up to speed now i constantly tell my students always paradiddle 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 and they're like ah bored 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 so how do you make practicing interesting how do you make rudiments interesting you know so we're going to take a basic paradiddle and we're just going to have a little bit of fun with it so for example straightforward right left right right left right left left Obviously the left left on the turnaround has got to be really crisp, just as much as the singles are. Right the way through. Now, what I'd like to do is the accents, going back to our counting thing, whereas I, I don't count one E and a two E and I count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, because I'm a bit weird. What I like to do is think of one and five being the accent, where you guys will probably go one E and a two. One and two is the accent. So I count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So naturally, the power little accents fall on those singles. What I'd like to do is just put a bass drum on, on the, the one and the one E and the two. So one, two. For me, once again, one and five. Fairly straightforward. Put a hi-hat on the upbeat so you get this. Right there. And I'd like to play a bass drum on the turnaround, so you're getting a samba bass. So th this will be the pattern with the feet, a samba pattern. With the hands, set off with singles first. Give yourself a chance. I'm going to play singles. When I've got the ostinato down with my feet, then I'm going to change to paradiddles. So you get this. What we then, then do is, is we go to our straightforward playing groove here, or, or the way we set up, whether it be on the ride cymbal, or if you play open-handed, and play the same groove. But here's the interesting thing. Let's push the accent forward one sixteenth note. So you've got the one E and uh, two E. So you've got the first part. Again with our ostinato. Works really nice for Latin stuff, so I can take my snares off, I can go on the ride if I wanted to, or I can play it around the toms. Great on the ride cymbal. It works really nicely if we drop away the hi-hat now, just play it as a groove, just, just with the samba foot. Speed. And it's just loads of fun.